I'm feeling kind of like numb, kind of like removed, kind of like um, in denial, kind of like um, relieved because I know he's not in pain anymore. Hey guys, Auntie Debbie here. Um, yesterday my dad died. Died of intravenous. What is it called? Oh God! Intravenous artery disease in his feet. He uh, has swollen feet for a long time, apparently, um, unbeknownst to us, unbeknownst to my sister and I. His, his wife knew, and um, he never took care of it, and it got it got an infection, gangrene, and. Um, gangrene just never went away, even though they gave him tons of antibiotics, but um, it was really painful <clears throat> and very long. Now, this has been going on, mind you, for like, since the beginning of the year, probably. Um, he had two surgeries to try to correct the problem, and um, the problem was that the vein was um, was obstructed, and um, that's why his feet were swelling up, because the veins in his legs, his feet were not circulating blood. So, um, as you know, I went to see him in California about a month ago, and um, I said my final goodbyes, and uh, I was hoping maybe he'd get better, I was hoping maybe the infection would go away, but it never did, so yesterday at 2.30 he died, and my sister called me, and um, you know, I always get very, very quiet quiet in these situations, I, I always shut down, I just can't deal, you know, um, and that's okay if you can, you know, um, <clears throat> I was at work at the time at my nanny job, and um, the little babies were asleep, um, the little girl and her little sister were asleep, and I just, I had tried not to cry, but then I just broke down and sobbed, and, um, for about 20 minutes and then I just kind of shut it down because the kids woke up and and I didn't want them to see me crying because they don't need that kind of drama in their little heads. I don't want them worried about me. I don't want them seeing me sad. I don't want them uh, just worrying them their little selves because children do worry and they do get ulcers. So, you know, please be careful with that. I know you want to share everything with your child, but um, they don't need that. Let them stay as innocent as long as they can, um, if possible. And um, so, yeah, so when they got, I got them up from nap and I gave them snack and I was all cheery and happy and joking and tickling and all this stuff. And um, so I'm going to text, I mean, I'm on my way to work right now. It is uh, about 6.15 in the morning. And I'm going to, you know, text the parents later and just tell them my dad died. And if they do any kind of, if my sister and them choose to do any kind of memorial, I want to attend. Now, mind you, my dad said he didn't want anything. Uh, he said that he didn't want any memorial, but who cares? It's not really for him. <laughs> it is and it isn't. It's so the siblings can get together. So there's four kids from the first marriage and two kids from the second marriage. We're about, oh gosh, 30 years apart, something like that. His second wife is 20 years younger than him, so uh, her kids are like in their, I think, late 30s, and we're in our mid to late 60s. So yeah, that's a pretty good calculation, maybe. It's about 30 years apart, so... Um, so I'd like to see my siblings again. I'd like to spend some time with them. I'd like to um, just come together in his name. You know, he brought us to this earth. He's the seed. And um, even though he wasn't a great father and he knows that and he recognized it several times, I, I just don't think he had it in him. And that's why I'm so forgiving to him because uh, I just don't think, I really don't think, I think he like missed that gene of, um, of nurturing. He just did not have it in him 
to guide us, to, I mean, he would tell me he was proud of me, but that's about it. He just didn't. I don't know if he didn't know or didn't care. I mean, I just don't know, but it was missing, okay? And I got to accept that and recognize that because acceptance is the key to all my problems today. So um, that's what I do for my own sanity is to accept things the way they are. Now, thank God I've been um, paying down my credit card that way I have some room to put on there so if I want to fly in I can fly in but besides that um, yeah I, I want to make sure I see my siblings I don't want us to lose contact to see my dad never even made any effort for us to be close to each other which to me is basic parenting right but anyway he just he just I'm telling you the man just did not have it in him to be a nurturer I think he was a narcissist. I think he was so very much into himself and his needs. that. Um, and I've talked about this in previous videos if you want to check them out. Um, I have videos about my parents and suicide and all kinds of stuff. So you can please check those videos out. But um, I really do believe he, he just, it was just unnatural. It wouldn't even occur to him to nurture someone. Because when you when you talk to him about it, he was like surprised. Oh, uh, but it was like, oh, uh, am I supposed to be doing that? Or you know, it just just didn't for one reason or another. So you know, right now I'm feeling kind of um, and it's kind of strange. You know, it's just um something you deal with that you have to, you know, I knew this day was coming, and I mean, the man was 93, for God's sake, but still, it's still never easy, so I'll keep you posted whether they plan a memorial or, or not, how it goes, um, and uh, I'm sorry for not posting very many videos, I'm going to step it up, I just, I just been in a funk for months, and uh, that never happens, but this is different. This is my dad. My dad was dying. It just threw me for a loop, so. I don't know. I just, it's, it's like an, the end of an era. It's like the death of an era. Death of hope. It, it's like death of hope because when you have unresolved issues with parents, with one of your parents, there's always the hope that things will change and the irony of that is that neither one of my parents changed because maybe they weren't capable of changing but um yeah my mom died with um about 10 years ago with unresolved issues between us and um now my dad died and and it's with him I wouldn't say was unresolved issues per se it's just that he just didn't have the capacity. And it's not that I'm really excusing him. I could just clearly see that he didn't have that gene. And I had to accept that. So please check out my other videos. Um, let's make it a wonderful day. Let's just, you know, cut your days up into sections. If something goes wrong during your day, start it over. Start your day over again. That's what they say in AA. We can always start our day over again. At any moment. Appreciate what you already have, and I'll talk to you soon. Blessings to all.